Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss Hayes sulfur flower test, which is done for the detection of wild sorts. In today's video, we will discuss principle, procedure, interpretation, and demonstration of Hayes sulfur flower test. So please watch this video till the end. First, what are bile salts? In alkaline bile, usually conjugated bile acids exist as a sodium and potassium salts. This sodium and potassium salts of conjugated bile acids are called as a bile salts. That is sodium taurocolate, sodium glycocolate, and potassium taurocolate and potassium glycocolate. They enter in liver through bile. And the test for the detection of bile salts is a sulfur flower test. Now we will see procedure, observation, and inference of a sulfur flower test. So for the procedure of a sulfur flower test, take two test tube. In the first test tube, take 3 ml of urine and sprinkle small pinch of sulfur powder. While in the second test tube, which will serve as a control, take 3 ml of distilled water and sprinkle a small pinch of sulfur powder. Now in the test tube containing urine, if sulfur powder sinks to the bottom of the tube, that means bile salts are present because bile salts reduces the surface tension. That's why sulfur powder sinks to the bottom of the test tube. While in the second test tube, which is serving as a control, sulfur powder floats. So that is regarding the procedure, observation and inference of Hayes sulfur flower test. Now interpretation of Hayes sulfur flower test. So in obstructive jaundice, conjugated bilirubin cannot be excreted through normal passage and it regurgitates into the bloodstream and it gets excreted through urine. So bile salts are present in the urine during early phases of obstructive jaundice. So that is the interpretation of Hayes sulfur flower test. Now we will see demonstration of Hayes sulfur flower test. So we have already seen the principle of Hayes sulfur flower test which is done for the detection of bile salts in the urine sample. So for the Hayes sulfur flower test we need distilled water. Distilled water we need for the control test, then abnormal urine, so that is a sample, and then sulfur powder. So now let's see the procedure of Hayes sulfur flower test. So in the first test tube, take around 3 ml of distilled water. That is for the control test. And then in the second test tube, take around 3 ml of given urine sample in which we have to see the presence of bile salts. Now we will add pinch of sulfur powder in the distilled water test tube. So as you can see there is a floating of sulfur powder on the top of the test tube that means there is an absence of bile salts. If there is a presence of bile salts, then this sulfur powder will sink to the bottom. Now we will add pinch of the sulfur powder in the urine sample. And as you can see, this sulfur powder is sinking to the bottom of the test tube. That means there is a presence of bile salts in the urine sample because bile salts reduces the surface tension and that, that makes sulfur powder sinks to the bottom. So this is regarding the hay sulfur uh, flower test. You can see in the control test there is a floating of the sulfur powder on the top of the test tube and there is a sinking of the sulfur powder on the bottom of the test tube in the urine sample because in the urine sample there is a presence of bile salts. Thank you.